Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to be um, head fighting a lot of trainer battles. We missed a few on Route 6, and then we're going to head down Route 7, where sadly, we are well not sadly, we already caught a Pokemon in there, so we can't catch anything, but there are Pokemon to fight, or trainers to fight, and then the, we're going to try and go through the cave at the end of the route. That is the plan. We're just going to do a lot of training today, but before that, we did get a new uh, Pokemon in the last episode, and I do think we need to add them to the team. The question has been who to get rid of. Now, I can't lie to you guys. Down in the comments, down in my heart, the uh, the support from Matt's has been amazing. Little old Matt's here. I mean, ever since he, it's no surprise. Ever since he got light screen and reflect, I mean, it's he's just been such a little prankster. He's like the little hero. I looked it up. Um, what is like uh, Ledian's uh, uh, base t base stat total, and compared to every other Pokemon in the game, it is fourteenth worst in the entire game. But hilariously, do you know who is thirteenth worst? So just a little bit worse. Dust stocks. So we know we can make it to the end. That be, that gave me so much faith in maths. I was like, what? We have an entire five extra stat points to work with? <laughs> we're basically gods. So for the time being, anyway, we're going to keep fat, or, um, maths on there. So the question was then who to uh, replace? Because I think Fatterhorn here is just, it's got to be on the team. And I, uh, the answer is, again, coming from the comments, there was a lot of, a lack of support for old Tarth here. Now, Tarth has been uh, a good Pidgey. She's so close to evolving, but at the same time, we've played with Pidgeys in the past. She's caused a little bit of drama on the team, you know, so, like maybe, maybe separating her from uh, Chloeo for a little while will do us all, will do her some good. So we're just gonna go ahead and move. We're gonna put her right next to Tom John there so those two can buddy up. Hey, hey, what's up? Remember each other? Be friends, be nice, no fighting. Probably not helping that uh, Tarth has gained a few levels. There's Juge, hey Juge. Uh, Juge just has nothing on halt, however. So there we go, we've added Fatterhorn to the team. So now the lowest level on the team is actually Mats and uh, Fats. I guess. <laughs> Mats and Fats, <laughs> God, I hope those two become friends and it's like tiny little Lediba, big old Snorlax. <laughs> Mats and Fats. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fun. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's uh, head out. I'm going to leave Matt's at the front of the lineup there so that uh, he can hopefully get some experience. We are close to getting him to evolve. So that's fun. I think it's level 18 we're aiming for. That's what we want. Evolution. And then if we can get Goyrin some fights too. Goyrin, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have... Uh, Axe, right, who just, we know is like statuesque, stands there so calm, meditates day in, day out. Uh, Goyrin also does a lot of just standing, but I can't tell you the difference between Axe's standing and Goyrin's standing. Goyrin is liable to just be like standing right here next to you, and you turn around, you're like, what the And he never blinks. Never. Ever. I've never seen his closed his eyes once. Not once. So we went down the other side of this path last time. This is where we fought those terrible fur frows, uh, owned by these terrible people right here. Hey, you guys are terrible. I don't like you at all. Um, we also got Venosha. Oh, hey, what up? Let's start a secret battle in the tall grass. Okay, let's do it. Let's start a secret battle. Can you guys tell it's brighter in my room today? I'm recording in the middle of the day. It's a Saturday and I'm doing this because I'm having so much fun on this challenge. Hey, they've got a Goyrin too. Oh, see now if only we had ourselves a uh, a bug type move, which I'm pretty sure we got at level 18. So we're pretty close. We're gonna go ahead and sell. let's send out Fatterhorn. Let's just do it. Come on, Mats, get that EXP and dodge out. There we go. Mats to fats. Here we go. All right. Scratch, you got nothing. Fatterhorn has the ability thick fat, which makes him extra resistant to fire and ice. So that's also a good thing to know. Uh, we need it. We should check to see if we have any TMs for you, though, Fatterhorn. Uh, tackle? Yeah. This is going to do absolutely nothing. My gosh. Can you imagine if we get Leech Seed set up and then switch into Fatterhorn? We're going to be unstoppable. He can't, he'll, he'll never die. It'll be amazing. Mask to 16! What? Yes, good. Butterfree, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, uh, oh look, we've also got 
ways to boost ourselves defensively as well. Man, oh boy. It's Fatterhorn. Oh, Sleep Powder, though. Again, I wish Snorlax had some sort of ability that just allowed him to uh, benefit from sleeping. He looks so crazy standing up. I don't feel like I ever see Snorlax standing. Confusion. Yeah. Good, good one. Tackle. Boom. Oh, it's so much damage. Oh, it's so much. Don't you dare sleep powder me again. Oh, you stupid Butterfree. You stupid Butterfree. You're just making this take longer. You're just making it take longer. You're delaying the inevitable. Fatterhorn will destroy you. You are going down. You can confuse me all day. 60 to 59. You're going to have to do like so many more of those. So many more. You have to hit attack me 15 more times before that does anything. Mm -hmm. Watch him confuse me. And then I'll wake up and it'll be like, he's confused. Uh, this is so frustrating. I hate sleep powder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we have sleep powder on the team. This is why we have it. Because Oh, look. I called it. Now we're confused. Now we woke up. Then we hit ourselves. Oh, my gosh. Nope, we didn't. Fatterhorn is not to be confused by your tricksy ways, Butterfree. Go back to where it came from. Boo oh, almost got the level. Oh, you're strong. What a surprise. 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 Are you surprised by my strength? Did you see my Snorlax? My Snorlax is amazing. Oh, there's an item over there. You guys know how I like free stuff. Is there stuff over here? But do we have to go through the grass to get it? Oh, we made it. Super repel. Man, I am tempted to even use it for the rest of this route. No, we won't. We have to save repels for potentially dangerous situations in the future. When we really don't want to be running into... Oh, well, I guess we're going this way. Cool. Is there someone to fight? Hello? Someone fight me, please. I'm walking through scary hedges. Aha, here we go. Good. Zoom, zoom, zoom. With my shorts on, I can run like the wind. If you say so, dude. Dude, does it help to have your hand in your pocket whilst you're doing that? Venipede! Dude, Venipede's awesome. I would not mind having a uh, Venipede. I mean, we already have the appropriate stuff on the team, so it's not like a super thing. Like, we cannot do much damage, though. That's the problem with mats just yet, is that we don't have much damage. So we really need to get to the next move. Um, let's go to... I was going to say let's go to Goyrin, but we should not go to Goyrin. Uh, let's just let Fatterhorn get out there. Let's build this friendship. Mats and Fats. Now watch this. He's going to be like, you're poisoned. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. I guarantee it. What? Get my, am I, I should, I think I'm a psychic type. Me personally. That's the way you beat Fatterhorn apparently is with uh, poison. That did so much damage. Oh, rollout. I don't like this one bit. Tackle. Just kill it. One shot it. Ugh, now we're here with poison. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're gonna tackle this thing, and then we'll worry about healing. Yeah, you got nothing. Your poison's not gonna do 26 damage. You're going to die. We're gonna level up. Everything's great! Everything's working! Look at- Oh, we didn't level! Oh, so annoying. How dare you damage us? <gasps> 17! My god, did so much damage. Scraggy! <sighs> oh, we're definitely switching. Um, we do not want to hit- be hit by this guy at all. Uh, should we go to Goyrin? He should be able to do this, right? Uh, but Dark... I always forget the relationship between Dark and Psychic. I feel like Psychic can't affect Dark. Let's just go to Halt. Yeah. Let's Halt the Scrag... Oh my... Scraggy's gonna scare the pants off me. I mean, he can barely hold his own pants up, but... Man. We all remember Raptorus, right? The greatest Scrafty that ever lived. Oh, Sand Attack. What's with all these sneaky attack strategies here? Let's try Venoshock. Let's try your new move out. Now, I believe Venoshock does more damage to Pokemon that are already poisoned. So, it doesn't really look like it's going to matter. Because we're definitely just going to Vine Whip this thing to death right here, right now. Vine Whip. Oh, two sand attacks and nothing, Scraggles. You got nothing. You're an embarrassment. Halt, screw level 19. Nicely done, Halt. Battle Hunger to 6, look at that. Thank you, Scraggy, for the levels. Bye, Zoom Shorts, man. See you later. See you later, Zoom Shorts.
All right, here we go. Uh, let's antidote slash, where's my medicine? Where's my medicine? Do I have antidote? Yeah, there it is right there. Antidote on Fatterhorn there. Boy, the, can't even tell you how effective that poison was. It did so much damage to him. Don't like that. But we're good, we're nice and healed. I think that might have been all the trainers on this route. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's a berry. An aguava berry. An ag aguava berry, is that as it meant, what it means? Mm, they seem impossible to reach, if you say so. If you say they're impossible to reach, then I believe you. Let's go this way. And I don't want to fight any more trainers. There we go. Or I do want, I, I'll fight other trainers. I don't want to fight any wild Pokemon. All right, we made it. Let's head down Route 7 now. Got a couple of fights under our belt. That's good. That's good. The team is feeling good. Let's go. Let's fight stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to learn about the daycare now. Oh, you know what? I have a funny idea. <laughs> I have a funny idea. Now, I'm going to... Let's see. I've left Pokemon in the daycare in the past. Um, some people don't like using the daycare for the Nuzlocke. I'm not, I would say I'm going to leave some stuff here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See ya. See ya, boys. Oh, I have not decided on names for those two just yet. I know you guys have left some good suggestions. I have not, I have not decided on one. Um, you know who we should leave in here? This would be pretty funny because I think it would actually, we're going to, okay, hold on real quick. I think you have to, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna leave, yeah, we're gonna leave Tarth and Tom John at the daycare, and I think we could get an egg out of them. I mean, I know they're not super tight, but I think it could happen. I don't think we could use the egg, but I think it would be funny all the same. Here we go. Here's Tom John, see ya. Okay, yes. So this is always good um, if you have like, to me, like, if we have to come back and get a Pokemon later, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe they'll be there. Maybe they'll make it back and they'll have gained a few levels and they'll just save us some grinding time. That's really what it is to me. Um, it's just, oh, we didn't have to grind. So, there we go. Withdraw, withdraw, boom, boom. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. We're leaving them in there. If you guys have a real problem with that, I'll, I'll take them out and we'll just put them in the box. But, in the meantime, there they go. <laughs> we do have, so... It, what would we get out of that? We would get a Pidgey out of that is basically what we would be breeding. And I think they will breed because they're both like birds. Um, and it's male, female. So hmm, there you go. I don't think um, Tom John had any moves that he could pass down. That's how it typically works. The male gives the moves. The female gives the species. And that's, you know, that's Pokemon breeding. <laughs> also, there's all sorts of weird other things you can do with special moves and getting perfect IV stats and okay oh let's see does this guy want to fight who do we have out front well, who we want out front is Matt's because we want that we want this is your this is your episode Matt's we are getting to level 18 that's our goal yeah a heated battle against a traveling trainer should provide me with just the inspiration I need oh okay if you say so oh hi there painter Archish Georgia oh god of course, you have Smeargle. Okay, so... <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, it's level 16! Oh. Okay, so what I'm... I'm not super duper worried here. What I'm concerned about more than anything is that Smeargles can have literally any move. So I just... To me, it seems like the obvious way to fight it then is to <laughs> go to the guy who can resist almost literally anything. So unless this thing hits us with like a cross chop, which would be pretty surprising. Um, Ember! There you go. Look, Thick Fat says, who cares? Don't get burned. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's go for the, uh, let's go for the tackle. Oh my god, he does have a fighting type move. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Turns out he's not very strong at all, though. And we are a giant, giant sloth who... Oh my gosh, this is... Okay, you got it. Man, I almost set up a reflect, too. So hilariously, he would have um, he would have broken right through it. That's what Brick Break does. Man, Fats, you're getting some weird... Some weird matchups here. I'm sorry. I didn't... Who'd have thought that the, the first Smeargle we would run into would have 
So all that means to me is that I'm pretty sure there's more artists on this route, and all that means to me is that, um... Oh, we're out of potions. Okay, we're gonna fix that real quick, because, uh, never gonna be out of potions. All that means to me is that none of the rest of them are gonna have fighting types. They'll probably try and have all sorts of weird stuff on them, though, so we still have to be wary. I think Fats, uh, Fatterhorn is still our best, uh, move against the Smeargles. <laughs> Basically, Snorlax, the, they're so great for, um, Nuzlocks because if you don't know what to do, you could probably switch to Snorlax. That's probably the right answer. Um, the obvious, the obvious problem is if you're against, like, a, a really strong fighting type, in which case then you just have to make sure you have some sort of good counter for fighting types. And we have Goyrin, so there's that. And, um, I guess Matt's... Oh, you know what we were gonna check was, uh, TMs. Let's do that real quick. Uh-huh. So, uh, -huh. oh, God, are we gonna have to give somebody cut? Oh, I don't want to give anyone cut. That's so dumb. Ooh, return? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Return would be a really good move for um, Fatterhorn. I wonder what its initial base power is. At some point, that's going to be a hugely useful move, though. Home claws got. Oh, God. Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, if we see something we need to cut through, I really don't want. I mean, maybe I'd give it to Goyren, but uh, it seems pretty lame just at the moment. Okay, so maybe return on Fatterhorn. We'll let him get to like us a little bit more. Um, okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, no. Did I fight you? You the one I beat? Yeah. Yeah. You're defeated. I would go in this grass. This grass has lots of cool stuff, but we already caught the Snorlax, so that's pretty. Oh! Double battle! What? You there! You're the perfect model for our next man to show a magnificent display in battle to get this painting started. Okay. Alright, if you say so. Alright, let's do it. Smeargle and Smeargle. Gosh, I'm so... Oh, boy. Like, I don't know what they have. Oh, we're sending out our real... Oh, gosh. They're both level 16s. Ugh. Let me see. Let me see if light screen hits... Oh, it does hit both sides. So that's... Maybe worth setting up. I'm afraid they're gonna have like a fire type move. Uh, I doubt they'd have a flying type attack. Are we faster? Let's set up the light screen and then switch out Goyrin for Fatterhorn. Let's do that. Let's go to you and we're gonna switch out for Fatterhorn. Here we go. All right. All right. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. They actually had Pursuit and they used it effectively on a Pokemon that's weak to Pursuit and we live. So the good news is they're not particularly strong. They just have a wide variety of moves. <clears throat> Both their moves were physical there. So that maybe maybe uh, reflects really the move we should go for. Do it, set it up. Why not? Uh. I feel like they must not have any sort of, like, effective move against, um, mats, because they probably would have just used it there. Helping hand. Oh, see, they're trying to bolster their stats. We gotta hit the, uh, <gasps> how we do oh, god, oh, man, mats makes me, mats makes me nervous, because I know he's not very defensive. <laughs> kaboom! Yeah, you've been kaboom. Now, see, now we're at, like, a we can't we can't do much we've set up we've done what we needed to do we're switching out here we go let's bring in let's bring in axe we haven't seen axe today they haven't hit us with an uh, yeah let's go axe we've got our defensive barriers up you're gonna fight you're gonna tackle the one that has the helping hand here we go swing the axe there we go good always good when you have a new pokemon to get some uh some experience in with the team leader as it were of metal claw that what you got you got nothing look at that reflect doing so oh you got the attack raise interesting too bad you're dead yeah there we go kaboom boy fat fatter horn making a an immediate impact on the team that's good level 17 yes one more to go mock punch uh yes forget we're gonna get rid of supersonic because it's not good and Mach Punch is good. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Priority fighting type moves. Yay. Let's uh, smack this thing with a little water pulse and uh, a quick tackle. I'm thinking this is going to knock this thing down. No problem. Boom. You did. Will we get the level for mats? That's the question. Clear smog. What is that? What is that? Huh? Stat changes were removed. I don't even know what kind of attack that was. All right. You're dead. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. 301. Axe to level 20 like a boss. Like a boss. Smoke screen. Ooh. He's like such a ninja, isn't he? <laughs> that gives him such ninja. And like, I love the moves they've given him so far. Hold on, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Growl. That's terrible. Forget that. Now we have smoke screen. That's way better. That is so clever. I think he had lick too, right? Like, because frog's big tongue. Yeah. Matt's. Oh! Oh! No. Matt's has got to be so close. He's got to be so close. He's going to get that level. We're going to get that Letty in. Uh-oh. What's this? What's this? Oh, you too. Oh, do you know this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being a place where traders go to blah, 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 blah. Okay, see ya. Bye. Don't care. Don't think we fight you. Oh, can I fight you? Don't do it, man. Is this another Smeargle fight? It wouldn't surprise me. They've all, they're all Smeargle fights. Yeah, here it is again. Cool. In which we beat up a bunch of painters. That's the name of this episode. Probably not. It's not a very good name. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to that level. I want to see. I'm very, I, mm, this is like, I'm very curious to hit that thing with my mock punch. But I'm also very afraid to actually hit stuff <laughs> with him. Like, because I don't know what Smeargle could have. I don't want to do, like, hit with, like, an ember or something. And then just, like, die one level short. Let's go, Fatterhorn. Oh, yeah. Let's just get both of you a level. Rock throw. See? That would have been bad. That would have been not good. And in the meantime, we're just getting Fatterhorn. What is this? What was that? Rock tomb? Oh, did you lower my speed? Oh, defense? Defense. Yeah. Good luck with that. You waste your time lowering my defense, and I'll just keep tackling you. Powder Snow? Look at all the random moves this thing has. Yeah, I don't think Matt's was the uh, the appropriate battler for this one. There we go. 17. Nice. And Matt's to level 18. Say it. Say it. Chip away? What is that? I need to know. It might be good. 70 and 100 looking for an opening the user strikes consistently the targets stat changes don't affect this attacks damage so if they like boost their defense it doesn't okay and in the meantime tackle just to, yeah it's just it's just better tackle so we're just gonna get rid of that forget see ya kaboom there it is chip away that is some serious damage right there seven it's a big oh here we go yeah we did it we did it all right, I've got it. We're 896. All right, let's go. Here we go. We're evolving. We're evolving. We're evolving. Okay. It's just like any time now. Yeah. Oh, man. Ledian does look cool. He looks like a little superhero. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought we'd have had a Ledian on the team? Who'd have thunk it? There we go. Let's take a look at his. Are you gonna you gonna learn a move? Oh, I thought he learned a move at 18. That would have been nice. Are we gonna have to fight wine gums? Is that what's happening? Summary. Let's see it. 18, 24, 30, 47. Yeah. Pretty good special defense. Better even than Fatterhorn. Okay, so you do have good special defense. Do you have anything else particularly good? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Uh, speed 37. Pretty fast. Pretty fast. Only slower than Axe. Okay, so you got good speed, good special defense. It's good to know that we can trust the speed because we need the speed. And uh, let's see, special attack 30. Okay, 40, 38. 28. Yeah, okay, not that good there. And definitely, definitely more of a special attacker though, so we should keep, so mock punch, probably not that effective really. 
and regular defense not that great so it's better for us to set up the reflect than this than the light screen all right well good to know good to know all right all right we need more like special attacking type moves anyway let's throw a uh, goyrin to the front real quick and we didn't get potions did we did we just did we go back and not buy that did we go all the way there and then forget that sounds like me doesn't it and we're back we have potions we have goyrin at the front i don't uh uh let's just here we go wine gum fight yeah oh wait everyone's here maybe it's not a fight if y'all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle. Oh, oh, it's a doubles battle. Oh, yes. Oh, it's me and Wine Gums. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm not worried at all now. Okay, now we're okay. This is fine. Oh, oh yeah, come on, yeah, we're gonna dance our way to victory. That's what we're gonna do. That's not probably not his voice either. Here we go, Corfish and Pikachu. Okay, all right. Oh gosh. Hmm. I suddenly don't love our odds in this fight. At the very least, I'm going to switch to uh, Halt because that seems to be a pretty solid uh, advantage against both of these guys. Halt, apparently a good double battler. Battler? Battler? Battler. Watch, they're just going to hit uh, Fletchling with Thundershock anyway, right? Or not. Why would you? Yeah, you did. Vice Grip, mm-hmm. Yeah, that should not do that much damage, frankly, because we are, uh, we have the type advantage. We're just going to Venoshock this Pikachu, because I don't want to get the static. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Quick attack, nothing. Quick attack. Maybe hit the Pikachu? Nah. Let's see, if we kill Pikachu, then it'll be good that she hit the other one. Yeah, we got it. You did. Pika. Oh, oh, he says Pika. That's, oh, I forgot they did that. Goyren with the level. Stop it with the vice grips. Oh, fla baby. Okay, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and vine whip on core fish. That should pretty much be the end of him, I would think. Yeah, you did. And now I really hope that fla baby isn't su secretly super powerful and gonna hit halt for something really strong. Oh, it can only hit, didn't even hit halt at all. So that's nice. Um, part of me, I don't, I don't like ever having, oh. No, for a second I was like, wait, is fairy good against poison? But poison's good against fairy. So in that case, I'm in a shock. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not that concerned about this flop, baby. Yeah, you did. <laughs> See ya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Boy, we're going to be so... It's going to be so nice if we, uh, we have Venusaur by the time we get to uh, the fairy gym. Because then we're just going to uh, poison everything. That's what we're going to do. Poison on the everything. <laughs> just like that. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer style is. Okay. Thanks, Wine Gums. That was an easy fight. See y'all later. Whatever. Let's see. What's down... Oh, oh no. Do we need to use that cut? What's over here? Is it a TM? Oh, I can't see. Ah, uh, man. Uh, should we use it or should we not? Should we use it or should we not? Should we use it? Okay, tell me. Yes, tell me if I should come back and get whatever's beyond there. Is it good? Is it good? I don't know. What's this place? Connecting cave ahead. This is a shortcut to Sillage City. Sillage City? Okay. So let's see. This is a connecting cave Zubat Roost. Oh my god, please don't be a Zubat. Please don't be a Zubat. Please don't be a Zubat. Okay, here we go. Let's throw... Mm, brr, brr, brr. I want to put Halt out front for the potential catching of a Pokemon because he has Sleep Powder. And then I do, just in case, also want to go ahead and super potion him. There we go. Super potion him. Potion him. Made that word up just now. All right. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Be an axe you. Be an axe you. Be an axe you. Do it. Be an axe you. What's it going to be? Uh, look, it's a horde battle. What is it? Ah, it's a whismer oh no not whismer you guys know how much we hate whismers but this does count as our pokemon for this uh, particular cave so we're gonna have to sit here and fight these things 
because uh, we have to try and catch one. We want the leader. That's who we want. No, we want that. We want you, leader boy. All right. Um, Venom shock this one, I guess. Kaboom. I don't know if we have any attacks that would hit everything just yet. We have to kill everything before we can hit a single one. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so far, pound, not bad. Pound, not bad. Pretty solid. They're not doing much damage. They're way lower levels, but it's the fact that they can hit you so many times. And sometimes they have, like, the Wismers would use that uproar thing. I don't know if that, like, builds on itself in any way. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Two down. Horde battles. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. And there's the pound. Yep. Ugh, it takes so long to fight them because you just have to, like, whittle them down so much. This is the one making the uproar, so we're going to get rid of that one. Mm-hmm. Because they have to wait for five turns. Ugh, it takes so long. Hot grid level 20! What? Razor Leaf? Yes. Uh, yeah. Forget probably Vine Whip, right? Let's just double check. Physical, fine whip, it's physical, and the, what's the difference? Just w smidge less accuracy, but uh, more damage and critical hit. Yeah, sorry, see ya. Get out of here, vine whip. We're gonna raise a leaf. There we go. How we do. I wonder if raise it, raise a leaf seems like the kind of move that might be able to hit multiple targets. Oh, it is! If only we'd had it. Anyway, Venno shock on this guy. Yep, there we go. Horde battles are a good way to get um, shiny Pokemon. I do know that. Because I guess you have five chances at once. Do you think we could just catch this thing straight up with a Great Ball? I bet we could. You can't sleep in an uproar. God, Whismers. Okay. Uh, let's just try it, I guess. Great ball, go. Use. Full health. This is like Pokemon Go, right? Just, just throw the Pokeball. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, are you kidding? See, you see how much damage they've done? Oh, now. Okay. So now we're going to sleep powder. And you'll be asleep, and then we're going to great ball you. And that will be that. Oh, boy. <laughs> you hear it snoring. That's funny. Bag. Oh, no. Bag. Last two side. There we go. Use. What? Wismer was caught. Yay. Uh-huh. 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 Woo, we got it! Hooray! Da -da 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 -da. Now we gotta look up a, a name for you real quick. Whoops. Moko! There you go, this is named after uh, Moko Chang. Welcome to the box, Moko. Boom. There you go. We're prob we had a whole playthrough where the Wismers were just totally against us. They were not nice, but you never know. You never know. Sometimes you have to repair old wounds. All right. So let's see. I think that's about... Oh, oh God. It's a fight. Here we go. All right. Well, this will probably be the last fight we do for this episode. And then... Uh... Yeah. It was, pretty, it was a good episode. We got lots of... We got an evolution. We caught a new Pokemon. A Ducklet. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Because on the one hand... It has the advantage of flying types. On the other hand, it's level 12, so I say we just razor leave it. Try out our new move, right? Pizzah! Oh, yeah. The crit. Boom. Right out of the gate. We got a crit machine with Mr. Halt. Yeah. Litleo. Uh-oh. Oh, we have a Chloeo ourselves, don't we? But it doesn't matter, because we're going to send out the mighty axe to chop down your lion. Mm-hmm. We know all about Litleo. We know all about you. We're gonna send out our frog ninja. 
to water pulse you into oblivion. Yeah. Boy. So, so far she's had not bad Pokemon, just weak Pokemon. Oh, yeah, still. Okay, interesting. We're going to switch back to, uh, who should we go to here? I feel, I uh, so we're just going to go to Halt. <clears throat> I feel bad we're not given, like, Goyrin enough battle time, but <clears throat> it seems like we ought to just have, like, an answer for most of the things in the meantime. Let's go to Halt. Halt. The thing is, Halt and Axe are just so good. And now we've got Fatterhorn as well. Mm. The team is looking pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Oh, now nah, there we go. And we'll just finish this off. I don't think we've seen Chloeo at all today, so we'll finish the battle out uh, with our mighty lion. Yeah, there you go. There you go, acid. How dare you? You spray acid at me? I'll show you how to raise a lion. Ember, burn it with fire. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Wow. Bye. Pretty solid. Yay! Okay, well, she had a wide variety of Pokemon, but not a super... Okay, it's good to know. We should be on the lookout for people dressed like this, because I have a feeling she's like the first taste, but in the end, um, they're going to be a little bit stronger, variety-wise. Most Pokemon trainers in this game do not have a wide variety of stuff. But guys, thank you so much for uh, watching today, leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and uh, giving us a comment down below so that we have an excellent pool of names for our new Pokemon if and when we catch them. In the next episode, we're going to head down, I want to say, Route 8, where I think, again, we could catch a dragon. We could catch a Bagon on that route. So we didn't catch the Axew, sadly. That was been in this cave, but... Um, Bag on. Still in the cards. It could happen. I would love that. I would put a dragon on this team. Stat. No NQA. But anyway, that's it. That's it for today. See you in the next episode. Bye.